Are you sick of the city? Want to find a rural town, get a mortgage and some real estate in rural New York? If you said yes, keep watching. That's right, today we're looking at the Empire State, New York. And yes, New York has rural towns. For some reason, an odd amount of people don't understand that New York is so much more than New York City. I mean, they did when I was a kid, but don't they teach geography anymore in school? It's strange. A couple things about rural New York towns. They tend to be a little more expensive than other states, and the weather can be bipolar at best. Summers in New York State are amazing. Winters can be horrible. I mean, New York summers are great because they have so many lakes and creeks and rivers everywhere. They're just a great place, especially to be a kid in the summer. But yeah, those winters get rough. So we're looking for that sweet spot, a decent place to live that isn't too close to any major city. It's easy on the crime rate, not five hours away from a hospital, and not so far out in the sticks, you can't get good internet. Like I explained in the past videos, not all states have 10 good rural towns that fit our criteria, and I don't wanna waste your time trying to get to 10 with some towns that really don't cut the mustard. Get it? Got it? Good. Let's take a look. Number six, Lake George, New York. Lake George and really the whole area around here is beautiful and historic. It's got Fort William Henry right in town, right on the lake. It's amazing. Fort William Henry was a British fort at the southern end of Lake George in the province of New York at the time. The fort's construction was ordered by Sir William Johnson in September of 1755 during the French and Indian War. If you watched the movie Last of the Mohicans, that was the fort the British were in right before they surrendered and then got massacred as they left the fort. Lake George has a population of about a thousand residents and they get a thumbs up when it comes to their crime rate. It's actually 23% lower than the national average. Now, one thing about their crime rate, it kind of jumps in the summer when they got a bunch of people come to the lake and do stupid stuff. But most of the year, this is an extremely safe place to live. I would say their crime rate goes down about 20 more percent during the non-summer months. When it comes to internet, they get a thumbs up there too. You can get one gig from Spectrum and they cover 100% of the town. So that's outstanding. When it comes to hospitals, they got a couple doctors in town in a small clinic, but they got a full-size hospital right down the road, so they get a thumbs up for that. It's in Glen Falls. It's 15 minutes to the south. They've got emergency room, everything you're going to need. When you take a look at Lake George's real estate, it's pretty good. I mean, we'll give them a thumbs up because... They have a lot of things for sale and they have a wide variety. They have a lot to choose from. The downside is the cheapest you're going to find is around 400000 and it goes all the way up into a couple million for lakefront property. I would say if you want to get someplace nice, you're probably looking five fifty to six fifty. dollars That'll get you a nice three bedroom, two bath type thing. It's not going to be right on the lake. It'll probably be right in town or maybe even outside of town, but it'll be a good place to live. You're looking around 600000 or so. Number five, Ellicottville, New York. Ellicottville is a village in western New York. It is known for two ski resorts, including Holiday Valley, which is pretty much right in town. They got normal skiing, then they got cross-country skiing trails, and in the summer, they have an adventure park that has one of those really cool mountain coasters. I love those things. They've been dubbed the Aspen of the East. Unlike Aspen, starting money for a one-bedroom condo isn't 900000 It's actually kind of reasonable here. Ellicottville sits about an hour south of Buffalo, and they have a population of about 356 residents. That balloons up a little bit during the season, I'm sure. They get a big thumbs up for their crime rate. Their crime rate is 45% lower than the national average, which is outstanding. Like number six on this list, Lake George, I'm sure a lot of their crime has to do with people showing up to ski or whatever, getting a little too twisted and doing stupid stuff. But if they do do stupid stuff and they get injured, they're in the right place. Ellicottville gets a thumbs up for their health care. They got a few doctors and some orthopedic places in town. If you need a full size hospital, Springville's like 25 minutes up the road and they got a full blown hospital. Big campus there. You're good to go. When it comes to Internet, they have Spectrum offers one gig to 96 percent of the town, which is, again, outstanding. This is in the hills. Normally, you don't get that kind of Internet out in the mountainish areas of rural any state really when it comes to real estate they get a thumbs up because they got things all over the map you can get an older home right now four bedroom two bath it looks nice it's had some work done to it it's not falling apart for two hundred seventy five thousand. and homes go all the way up over a million this is a ski resort town but it still has reasonable homes in town and on the outskirts of town you could find a really nice place here for 275 on up to four hundred thousand. anything in that range will probably be nice Number four, Lake Placid. 
That's right, Lake Placid, the place that had the Olympics, and we all know it because of the miracle on ice. If you don't know what that is, that's when the U.S. hockey team actually beat the Russians. Long story, don't want to go into it, but basically a bunch of college kids beat a professional team is what it breaks down to. Even though Lake Placid was a venue for the Olympics, it's really not that big of a place. It only has about 2,400 residents currently, and back in 1980, it had about the same number. They peaked in 1940 with 3,200 residents and have been losing a couple dozen every single census. There's a million and one reasons why people leave a town, but this place, it's got to be the jobs, maybe the cold. It's beautiful. The people are wonderful. This is a great option for someone that works remotely, that doesn't mind cold weather and, you know, likes to ski. This is a great place to live. Lake Placid sits a little over two hours north of Albany, New York, and about an hour and 20 minutes north of Lake George. Lake Placid gets a big thumbs up for their crime rate. It's actually 65% lower than the national average. It's too cold to commit crimes here. What's a crime in Lake Placid? Like going to the grocery store in Crocs and socks? Lake Placid also gets a thumbs up when it comes to healthcare. They got the Adirondack Medical Center in town. That one closes around 8 p.m. If you need anything after that, like an emergency room, about 18 minutes northwest on Lake Colby, they have the Adirondack Medical Center Ambulatory which has the emergency room and all the other good stuff you need. They also have a few different doctor's offices in town. When it comes to internet, they're doing outstanding. Just like most of rural New York, they have Spectrum, which offers one gig, and they offer it to about 98.9% .9 of the town, so pretty much everyone. Lake Placid also gets a thumbs up when it comes to real estate. The downside is your starting money here has got to be around $400,000, but they don't have anything that's run down or anything like that. $400,000 right now will get you a home with three bedrooms, two baths. It's a little bit older. It's a little bit outside of town, but it goes all the way up. $2 million. 2.2 million. They've got a lot of really nice estate type places here. You could usually find most of the homes here are going to be between six and 700,000. Yeah, that's pricey for a lot of us. Like I tell all the people that leave me comments that say nobody could afford those prices. Well, somebody could afford those prices or they wouldn't be those prices. Number three, Cold Spring, New York. I've been to Cold Spring. I slipped on ice right in front of like the village building or whatever in front of two cops and they started laughing and one of them asked me if I was from Arizona because I don't look too steady on the snow. <laughs> he was correct. Not about the Arizona part. I was from Southern California, but I wasn't too steady on the snow. So I dusted myself off and stood up, walked three more steps, fell again. They laughed harder. I finally just crawled into the place we were going to right next door. <laughs> Cold Spring sits across the Hudson River from West Point, which is the United States Army Military Academy, in case you don't know. And it is great to go see a football game there. That's why I was in town. I shouldn't say in town. I was in the whole area. I was visiting a bunch of different places. And Cold Springs, one of the ones I went to, they have a nice downtown. It's actually a really cute little downtown. And you get to walk down Main Street, which is filled with coffee shops and nice restaurants, little boutique type places. It's a great little town. Cold Spring has a population of about 2,000 residents, and they get a big thumbs up for their crime rate. Their crime rate is actually 81% lower than the national average. They don't get any crime here. I think it should be a crime to laugh at visitors when they fall on the ice, but that's just me. When it comes to internet, they get a big thumbs up, and this time it's not from Spectrum. It's from uh, Optima. They get one gig, and they offer it to 96% of the town. So they get a thumbs up for that. When it comes to healthcare, they get another thumbs up. They got a couple doctors and a medical clinic in town. But if you need an emergency room or anything like that, you just got a 20 minute ride south to Peekskill where they got the full blown hospital emergency room and all that good stuff. New York is no lightweight when it comes to hospitals. They got them everywhere. They're always a short drive away and they got plenty of doctors. It's a good place to be sick. Just got to deal with the cold and the price most of the time. Speaking of price, they get a thumbs up when it comes to real estate. They have a lot to choose from and a wide variety of options. I mean, starting off around $415,000 is the cheapest thing they have right now in town. And it goes all the way up to like estates that are $1.5, $1.4 million. So they got something for almost everyone's budget. And you get to go see West Point games whenever they play. You know, I wonder, I was only in the stadium. I wasn't over there when the game was being played, but every time they score a touchdown, they shoot this cannon off. Wonder if you could hear it all the way over there. Who knows? Let me know in the comment section if you can. Number two, Millbrook, New York. Millbrook sits about two hours north of New York City and about 20 minutes northeast of Poughkeepsie, New York. They have a population of about 1,400 residents. 
and they've lost population most census since they peaked at 1736 in 1970. That got me kind of thinking, well, who's from here? Why are people leaving? So I did a little research and I went to their Wikipedia page and on their notable people thing, they list like 30 people like Mary Tyler Moore, Bette Midler, Rick Ocasek, Robert Trump. Nobody on the list is from Millbrook. They may have lived there maybe a year or two or something like that, but none of them were born and raised in Millbrook. It's like their Wikipedia page is lying to us. But they do get a big thumbs up for their crime rate. Their crime rate is actually 82% lower than the national average, which is outstanding. They get a big thumbs up when it comes to internet. They have more than a couple to choose from, but they got Optimum and that offers one gig and they say they cover 99% of Millbrook. When it comes to healthcare, they get a thumbs up because they got a couple doctor's offices in town along with an audiology place for those retirees that may need a hearing aid. So that's a plus. Anything may Major or an emergency room, you're going to have that 20 minute drive to Poughkeepsie where they have the Mid Hudson Regional Hospital. When it comes to real estate, they get a thumbs up also because they've got a lot to choose from. It starts off around 400,000 and works its way up to almost $10 million. Yes, they have some homes for one, two, seven, 14, and $10 million. The ones that are in the seven, 10, and $14 million area, those look like estates that come from old money that you'd see in a movie or something like that. But yeah, they do have smaller homes that look nice, looks like they're well-maintained, a little bit older, and they go for about 400,000. Realistically, you should be ready to pay at least 500000 for a decent home, though. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. And like the last video I did about Iowa, I'm going to leave the link to that program that the Department of Agriculture has to help you buy rural homes. I doubt any of the areas in New York are on their list because it's specific areas where they'll basically help you get a loan for no money down to buy a rural piece of property. It's normally places nobody wants to move to. People want to move to these places, so I doubt any of these communities qualify. But I'll put it down there anyway. All right, on to number one. And number one, Skinny Atlas, New York. Skinny Atlas is a town in upstate New York on Skinny Atlas Lake. It sits about 25 minutes west of Syracuse on the northern tip of Skinny Atlas Lake. The word Skinny Atlas is actually a Iroquois term for Long Lake. This is in the Finger Lake region of New York. If you look from a map, it looks like a bunch of skinny long lakes kind of look like fingers. Finger Lake region. This is a great place to live if you can afford it. They got about 7,000 residents here, which kind of gets us close to where I wouldn't consider it a rural town, but it is kind of away from everything, and it's a lake town. And they get a giant thumbs up for their crime rate. It's actually 85% lower than the national average, which, like we've learned, is outstanding. Keep in mind, there's places in this country where their crime rate is like 400% above the national average. So if you're even, you're doing great. If you're 85% lower, you're doing outstanding, especially with 7,000 residents. This town also gets a big thumbs up for their internet. Spectrum again, one gig covers 97% of the town, which like we've learned is great. They also have Verizon Fiber here, which covers 86% of the town. And they also offer a gig, well, just under 940 Mbps. When it comes to hospitals, they're doing great. They got a couple doctor's offices in town. But if you need anything beyond what they can do, you got Upstate Community Hospital, which is on this side of downtown Syracuse, about 20 minutes outside of Guinea Atlas. When it comes to real estate, they get a thumbs up there too because they're all over the map and they have something for everyone. The homes here range from $3 million lakefront homes to homes that are, you know, a couple hundred yards off the lake that are going for 450 to 500,000. But realistically, your starting money here is going to be 450,000 and probably in between 450,000 and 600,000 will get you something decent. But if you got three or four million laying around, you can get a lakefront home with your own dock and all that in one of the most beautiful regions in this country. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day. Be nice to each other.